Hey, here's my uh, friend's 24 gallon nano cube update. Recently, he well not really recently, but we got a T5. He got a T5 for it instead of the regular uh, nano cube hood, which has just power compacts in it. They're not that great, but as you can see, both the T5 and the power compact set both have the same amount of watts per gallon but T5 Lite has more of a spectrum and it's really cheap to buy so it's just like it's whatever we could buy it or not but it's just it's helping the tank so far I've noticed because all the other corals have been all the corals have been doing pretty good and uh the tank itself has been doing good his I'll start with his invertebrates and fish his uh cleaner shrimp's doing pretty well he's always out has eggs every few weeks there's his blue tang hiding always Pretty cool. And uh, his fox face. Let's see if he's out. Um, oh, there's the anthea. There's, there's one of those antheas. Oh, he only has one anthea. But well, that's his anthea. Here's his blunt. Oh, there's fox face. And the bunny. <laughs> Both chilling up there. It's pretty sick. Look at the bunny just sitting there. And the fox face is all like freaked out. And uh, his Coraline. See, this is doing re really well. Look how good it looks. And uh, look at the back wall. It's got the algae stuff, but still, the coral is doing pretty well. Okay, and with the corals, here's the star pops. They're pretty good, but I don't like them. But a lot of times, if this will focus, a lot of times they just close in and out. I think it's just to do with the light because the pH changes when you turn the, as the light on as the light is on longer during the day, the pH will change. And so, at toward the end of the day, they always close up, and I think it's some. They're just there's weird qu coral. Mine and my, my tank don't do this, but his do it for some reason. And here's his. Uh, I like these a lot. Look how good they look. Just like perfect. They are like watermelon. All these other type of colors, not watermelon, but the green and the purple and the orange. And uh, he had a little like. I think it was a brain or an SPF. I do not know. It's in the middle of the screen. It's on the end of the star pops. I don't know what it is, but it's starting to die now, whatever it is. And uh, here's this Colt Coral. It's doing pretty well. It's the morning, so it's not out as much. And uh, we've been dosing calcium. Same, same process as mine, but he uses his without magnesium. And I have magnesium. It looks exactly the same, but mine has magnesium and this one doesn't. But we do one teaspoon per gallon. Like, this isn't a gallon, but we do a little bit less than a teaspoon. But you mix with fresh water, shake it up, then drip it in, as you can see. Cord goes down in the tank. Just like so. And Coraline just loves that. It's taken off because of that calcium. And, um,. The protein scammer is doing, it's doing real well. It's a bio protein scammer, but this is a nano cube, but so it, it does fine. <laughs> it doesn't really matter what tank it's on, it's just, it does fine. And, um, everything's doing great with this new light. And that's my friend's 24 gallon nano cube.